Hey guys, and welcome back to SFTC Panther. And today we are going to learn some basic content and concept of Lightning Web Component. So let's see what is the agenda for today. So we are going to learn what is the folder structure of Lightning Web Component. That means how many components are there inside a single Lightning Web Component folder. We are going to explore each and every of them, and then we are going to see in which Salesforce environment or in which Salesforce experience and tool this Lightning Web Component is supported. And then next to that we are also going to see where we cannot use Lightning Web Components directly. And then we are also going to see what are the properties and reactive properties in JavaScript. How we can use the attribute in the Lightning Web Components. And then how we will also see how we can call the method of JavaScript from the Lightning Web Components. So let's uh, get started with the Lightning uh, Web Components folder structure. So basically, in the Lightning Web Components folder structure, there are five folders, uh, five um, items. That is, one is a HTML file where we um, put all our markup language uh, that is responsible for the look and feel, the user interface, and then we have JavaScript, uh, the client side controller, uh, where we can put our uh, scripting uh, that uh, for example let's say that we wanted to get some user records or we wanted to calculate some uh, we wanted to manipulate some data that is that uh, which data that we are getting from the server side and then we have uh, xml metadata uh, metadata xml file where we can put that uh, this particular component is available for which objects and uh, where we can use this component in lightning app builder or not and then we also have one more file that is CSS, uh, that is called a CSS where we can um, put our custom CSS uh, so that we can change the look and feel uh, as per um, our requirement and then we have a new SVG file where we can put some custom icons so if you have earlier created the LWC you will you must have seen only three components but there are two more components uh, one is CSS and SVG and next is what are the uh, various environment where we can use this lightning web components so if you can see that in the lightning experience we can use lightning web component lightning experience means the environment where user is working or sales representatives are working service uh, support agents are working the salesforce uh, app salesforce app means that we can create some application with the help of lightning app builder and then we can use a standalone application as well as with the help of lightning components in the lightning communities we can use those components in the app builder app builder means in app page record page or uh, record home page we can also use in the community builders and then we have some minus packages uh, that we can create uh, with the help of salesforce dx unlock uh, minus packages and minus packages and then we can also use them in chain sets metadata api like uh, the name is lightning component bundle in tooling api as well so these are uh, the listed environment uh, the salesforce experience where we can use lightning web components but there are few where we cannot use like we have if you wanted to use in vms we cannot use lightning web components directly with the help of lightning out app that we can do you know, for the lightning components but here we cannot do so here you can see that we cannot use lightning out we cannot use lightning a web component inside lightning out we cannot use those uh, because we cannot use inside lightning out this is why we cannot use these components web component inside the visual force as well we cannot also use directly inside the standalone applications that are the lightning application that we created we also can't use inside navigation api workspace api or utility bar api we cannot also use like url addressable tab we cannot use in flow snappings like these are the all the items where uh, these are not available we cannot use these lightning web components but what if if wanted to use for example let's say that if you wanted to use lightning web component inside visual force pages then we have an alternate that we all know and if you don't know that uh, i must tell you that we can use lightning web component inside our events and like uh, let's say that our framework we have a lightning component that is our uh, that is built on completely our framework then we can use our lightning web component inside our frame um, uh, lightning component and then that lightning component we can export uh, with the help of lightning out in the visual force pages and then that means we can also take our lightning web component outside the salesforce environment with the help of lightning out uh, that will be completely depend on our lightning component 
so reactive properties in javascript so when we say that properties in javascript that means uh, we must have some kind of variables that we are going to use in our i think web components so we have two types of reactive properties public and private in public if you say that public means that we have created some properties in javascript and then we are using that web component inside another web component that is uh, we can say that we are composing that component inside another component so to pass those variables from parent component to child component we use public um, reactive properties that we annotate with add api and then for the private and these are the private variables that are accessible inside its own component that are annotated with the track or if you don't want it to then you can leave it so how to use attributes in lightning web component so uh, let me show you uh, first we will go with the folder structure uh, all the folders and then we will also see what are the properties what are the wire properties api and track and then we will see what are the attributes and then we'll go ahead with the demo so here this is um, the project that i created so first you need to uh, set up a visual studio lightning uh, web component salesforce extension pack salesforce cli if you haven't done uh, before uh, please go ahead uh, please refer the video that i have published before uh, in the earlier days you, you will get the complete uh, complete guidance where you can uh, how you can set up this particular visual studio code with a sample web component so let me go ahead and create a web component here so we are going to uh, i'm going i'm using sart keys that is control shift p if you are not uh, like uh, if you are not remembering these keys you can just go ahead and click on this gear icon on the top left uh, on the bottom left and then you can click on command palette and here you will get the same command prompt so here what we need to do we can just type sfdx and then if you will type web you will get like create lightning web component just select that one it will ask uh, the location where you wanted to create that so for the lightning web components the correct location is lwc folder so you just need to click select on that and now it is asking for the name of our web component so before giving giving it any name uh, as per your choice that is uh, your choice you can give it any name but the best practice is always start from the lower camel case when we say that lower camel case that means the component name will always start uh, with the lower with the small letter so uh, i'm going to say that my first lwc that means i, I have given my m um, small and then for, for the first i have given f as a capital and then for lws i have given lwc so uh, when i click on uh, hit enter it will process that it will also say that uh, it is creating the lightning web components and you can also see the command that is being used for that and after created you will get a successful message that create uh, all three it will create three files that is one is uh, javascript file that you can see here and then we have a metadata file and then we have html file and if you wanted to create css file you can just right click on this create a new file and you can just type my first awc.css so what you need to do is you just need to uh, give uh, the name the exact same name whatever the name you have given for our, your uh, lightning web component that is my first and then for the same is swc and if you uh, sorry svg if wanted create you can just give my first wc dot svg and you will see that you have uh, you have created all those five uh, so we are not going to use uh, svg and css in this tutorial we will use you will definitely use on the later on so yeah so first uh, it automatically opens the javascript file so let me explain you the javascript files so for creating the class or for creating for using the lightning web component elements we are importing the lightning elements from the lws dependency that is already being created here in the when you will be creating uh, you will create a project you will see that this folder is automatically being created and you will also see that there are some manifest file uh, you will also see some dependencies here in the config file you will see uh, sorry 
yeah in the sfd project you will see what are the username which username you have authorized with your dev hub and what is the default dev hub username and you can also see what are the types here you can see all the dependencies are here for the sfdx and for the lwc uh, this is i'm sorry let me open let me open that file my first sorry it was jssi jssi so here you can see that uh, we are importing for lightning elements uh, so whatever all the dependencies we can import here we can import from directly from the salesforce schema uh, for, from the salesforce schema we can directly call salesforce classes from here we don't need to specify any attribute like controller we used to do uh, with the help of uh, with the help of light like for the lightning components so here you can see uh, this is the class uh, we are uh, creating a class and then we are extending that lightning elements we are saying that we are telling that controller that this is component is uh, whatever this web component and then we are uh, extending the class that salesforce has defined salesforce has given its lightning element so here for creating the variables we have two types that we see in public so for public we just need to type at the right api and and you just need to select api it will automatically import api from the lwc and then you can just see that let me let me name it as greeting or you can just say it name and you can just give it any name i'm going to name name it my name and you can just put same coin next to and now for the if you wanted to create a pro, pro, private property you can just go ahead and type add the track or you can just set track it will automatically implement it will automatically import track if you will not import this track you will be getting the error here let me say that i'm getting that uh, let me say that i'm giving it title and i'm just giving it at CRM consultant. So you will be getting the error. Why we are you are getting the error? It, uh, if you hover here, you will also see that invalid decorator supported dec decorators or API wire and track that must be imported. And so once you will type here track, it will automatically the error will automatically be resolved. So if you wanted to use the variables you must need to use you can also use like this uh, let me say that uh, if i say that phone i wanted to use phone i can just use phone and then i can i can use uh, like this and now if you wanted to use these variables inside the lightning uh, web component so you just need to use these name you don't need to create any attributes like we do in the lightning component so if you wanted to use here let me say that if you wanted to use name here you can just go ahead and type name and then you can also if you wanted to give a space you can just type nbsp and you will see that it is also giving you the suggestion and you can also if you wanted to use title you can just go ahead and type type title you don't need to use any value providers like we previously we used to v dot and explanation mark so we don't need to use it's a completely different you just need to put the property name inside the curly braces and that's it and then here if you wanted to use phone you can just use phone and if you'll save it so uh, this is the basic type that you can use the variables and you can use the properties inside and the html so here you can also see here in the html we are going to use templates you are not going to use aura anymore so for anything uh, let's say that if you wanted to use uh, if you wanted to show some conditional highlightings on um, we can say that aura if that we are using for the lightning components but here we have template we can just type template and if you type here if you will see that there are two options one is if false if true you can just select if true and here if you wanted to use variable names let's say that name if there is some value in name then only you wanted to display the name you can just go ahead and type the name here and you can also use the html properties as well html5 and this is completely this particular file is completely supported by html uh, completely supports the html5 and uh, all the top you know, industry web standards so this is the uh, the basic things now comes uh, to the 
uh, to our uh, metadata file that is in JavaScript file. So here you can see that we have API version that is uh, 45 and uh, it is the um, coming release API version. Uh, we cannot develop this web component in our sandbox existing sandboxes are developer and this is it exposed if i make it as true then that means i can use this component this component inside uh, the lightning app builder so if i making it true i need to define the targets so we can just go ahead and define the targets and here in the target we need to define where we wanted to use that means we need to define target target and then we need to use lightning underscore underscore and let's say that I, I wanted to use in an application I need to type app page and uh, let's say that uh, you wanted to use uh, the same inside a record page you can just type lightning underscore underscore record page and again if you wanted to use for the record, record home page you can just type lightning underscore underscore home page so these are the th uh, three options we also have some options that is target configs and target configs means like in which object we can also specify in which ob object we only want to use and uh, what are the design we have uh, different different uh, uses for this metadata file that we are going we will definitely see on the next and tutorials so here here we are going to use the only explore these files now if i try control shift p and then i try to push into the source org so if i will try pros here you will see that we are pushing uh, using force colon source colon post that means we are pushing on scratch org and then here you will also see what is the status and after the successful uh, after the successful and sending data to the scratch org we are going to see a success message here and if you have any error we are also going to show error you can see that here we are getting some error and it's saying that component bundle can't be empty and it's also saying that uh, svg that means in this svg cannot be empty and CSS and this SVG cannot be empty so uh, because we have created these files uh, it's saying that uh, this can't be empty so we are going to delete as of now but these are not we are not going to use these for our tutorial as of now so now let's try again now here and let's say if uh, we are successfully able to uh, push the code into our scratch or, or not You can see we are able to successfully or you will also get the list of all the sources that has been added and what are the that sources that has been deleted so i do have some uh, sources like you know, i created a trigger and then i created a class that i deleted because i don't wanted those and you can see that we have added a wc demo and this is a vps and then we have added my first fwc that is this is the main component that we created now so now let's go ahead in the our uh, org so for our org i already opened that but i'll show you how to open just go to the command palette with the gear with the help of gear icon or you can just enter control shift p and then you can select uh, you can say that open and it will see that open default org and then you can open that so i already have opened so i'm i'm not going to use that command so i will go to the org so this is the org that I have created a custom lightning application that is Thomas LWC with the tab that is LWC and here I'm going to use that particular component so that let me go ahead as we all framed here with the lightning environment so I don't need to tell you much about this lightning environment so this is why we are focusing just on lightning web components so here if you scroll down you will see that you can see here must uh, my first LWC now if you will drag this component here you will be able to see you can see that you are able to see those information that we have given uh, with the help of attributes with the help of repository you can see CRM consultant what is the phone number I given what is the name I given so now let's go back here 
in our HTML file you can see that we have used ri for the name and if you wanted to use uh, same for the let's say that if false that means if there is nothing in name and we wanted to show something else you can just uh, let me show that type is strong here I'm going to type that name of the user is blank I'm just going to type this and from the back uh, from the JavaScript file I'm going to remove this name because I don't have anything in this name I must be able to see that the name of the user is blank because I have given if the name is uh, if false that means if there is nothing in the name attribute I need to show that name of the user is blank so let's wait for the confirmation that we have we have successfully pushed the code yeah we have you can also see now here it has been changed that means we have changed this HTML file as well and the JS file as well so now let's go to the or org and let's refresh the page you will you can see name of the user is blank we are able to see that the name of the user is blank because we have we haven't provided anything here in this and for the name now let me check it back now here what if you wanted to use like lightning formatted text or if you wanted to use lightning formatted phone so let me show you that so here this is the current phone number and we are also going to use email so as you know that here in web components we can only use lightning based components so here we are going to use only lightning based components we are not going to use uh, anything else like aura or force ui uh, there is nothing supported we can just use lightning based components and for the light lightning based components the structure is completely different so if you wanted you can just start type lightning you can see that you will get all the earlier we used to get the colon but now we used to get the hyphen in, in between each and every word so we just need to type lightning as we are going to use as lightning card here we can just use star and here he will say that title and we'll say that my first lightning web component and for icon you can just type uh, control space you will get the suggestion if you are not uh, able to see here I'm going to see that let's say that I'm selecting custom 4 there must be something I'm not sure what is that now here if you wanted to use some layout for that we can just start typing lightning and then if you type lightning layout here you will get if you don't you can also press uh, control space I'm going to use lightning layout and vertical align I'm going to use as a center and then inside that lightning layout as we know that we need to use lightning layout item we can just enter lightning layout item for the padding I'm going to use as around small so here uh, the complete thing is this is completely same as we did previously for the lightning component we are using colon but here we are using just hyphen that's it and the exact thing is same for the doc uh, for more information I'll definitely let you know where you can go ahead and explore the lightning web components so here for this uh, lightning layout item we are going to use let's say that in the first we are going to use lightning formatted text you can go ahead and use lightning formatted text for the value we are going to use name and that's it and then we can also use you can take that one two oops okay so we have let's align these Okay, we are going to align it one by one. 
okay and there is something problem in my keyboard so i'm not going to do this name and we are going to do title and here for this formatted text we are not going to use because here we have phone so we are going to use lightning formatted email so we will use lightning formatted email and then value and we are going to type email here and then here for the phone we are going to use lightning formatted phone that will be and the value for that will be phone and now we are going to save it and then after we are going to post the same into our or let me clear the console you can see we are successfully able to save now let's go back to our org refresh and we'll be able to see the new changes with the help of lightning card whatever we have given the icon and all that you can see we are able to see the my, my web component we are able to see a missing crm consultant whatever the email is in the formatted I, if i click on this it will open my default email messenger to send an email to this email and then this is the phone number so you can see that uh, this is a pretty cool and very easy very lightweight to do this uh, now let's go ahead and see how we can call the javascript controller method so for that you we have the same thing inside the lightning card we can just lightning out we can just create one more layout we are, we are going to use buttons so we will see that vertical align as a center can also use padding as well And here I'm going inside this I'm going to use lightning button and then for the same we have label we can say that call JS and then we have variant same thing we need to use brand and then we have on click yep. so earlier in the component we need to use explanation mark then c then dot then method name here we just need to use type the method name that's it and then we need to define this handle click method inside our javascript so here you can see you can go ahead and define handle click method and we are able to go so now if i wanted to put the alert here that I'm um, inside JS file so here directly you will not be able to put any alert or console log because ESLint editor has disabled this you can see that this uh, where is that file okay and uh, there is a file and uh, there is a JavaScript editor uh, that is ESLint this one ESLintic.json here you will see that it extends all the Salesforce configuration from the whatever uh, that is required for our Lightning Web components. And in the JSON config, you will see that what are the pay, uh, what are the paths. Here you will see all your web components that you have created, and you will also uh, see some include whatever the thing is here. So for this, for debugging, what you need to do, you just need to put one comment line that is yes lint disable and then no console and then after putting that you can just put console.log and here you can just put i'm inside js file and if you wanted to use if you wanted to change the variable uh, let me say that if i wanted to change the variable name value for name i just wanted to change that Anushin. you can also not use here so what you need to do use use this keyword for specifying that you are using this and you can also use 
and this dot title you can say that what will it say that sales for developer now let's do post the source code to our sketch org and we'll see from where uh, what is what is the effect that is being made by our changes that we are changing you can see it changed and let's go ahead here you can see we have a button that is called a javascript as we already put the console for that you can also open our console log to see that if a button is being called or not click on this you can see that i'm inside js file and you can also see the name value and the title value has been changed that means the rendering happens automatically whenever we are changing the value for any property or any attribute from the javascript it uh, immediately changes the value in the component and it renders so the idea is here uh, you can see that we don't need to now uh, how this is cool uh, with other than the component so here we don't need to create any kind of attributes for using them you can just go ahead and use those properties here in a javascript you can directly call the uh, variables inside uh, curly braces you can just click and call the method inside in curly braces you don't need to remember that either it's c or it's v and for the xml uh, for making these components available for the lightning app builder you don't need to implement uh, different different interfaces you don't need to implement like a flexi page co column available for all page types flexi page column for available for record page types and all that you don't need to do anything you just need to go to the metadata xml file meta xml file and just put target and these are the three uh, very simple things that you mm, definitely can remember and uh, and then that, that's that's it you just need to make it true and then provide the targets and we'll also see um, what are other benefits of metadata on uh, this meta xml file and you can also call uh, this particular salesforce schema very easily let's say that if you wanted to uh, also if you wanted to uh, get the current user id you can just use import that means we are importing something from salesforce you can say that let's id where you just need to type from you can just type single quotes type at the rate and you will see that from where you can import these things you can just type at the salesforce you can here you can see that we have salesforce for slash user and then id you can just hit enter and you have got this id now you just need to use user id and then you just need to use id this you can use this user id in your lightning web components and you are good to go to get the current user id and now let's say that if you wanted to use there are many many uh, modules that we can implement that we can import you wanted to use class and that i will i'm going to show you in the next video how you can call the class for now i'm going to create one more layout item that in which i'm going to show you that we are able to face the user id i'm just let's take it as formatted text type value user id and that's it we just need to push the code to the source org and we are good to go we will able to see the current user id so there are many benefits of this we can directly call the salesforce schema from this javascript file that we don't need to write a bunch a line of code that we used to do in lightning components first you need to get the action and then you need to set the params and all that so here we don't need to do those kind of we don't need to perform those kind of steps you can see here this is the user id current user id you can also see it's 005 so you can be sure that it's a user id and if you wanted to be sure i can go ahead and show you that this is 
actually my user ID and that I'm logged in with so let me go ahead type in user here and in the users as I'm logged in as user user you can see I'm logged in as user user so I'll open that user user here and once I'll open this I should be able to record ID C yep here you can see that it's my record ID T5K I think this is the complete record ID yep mm -hmm. you can see this is the 15 digit record ID and that is the yep and now for from where you can get more information about the lacking VS components for the web components and all that you can just go ahead type component library uh, that we used to do earlier for the components yes that is the same place where you will get all the information for that you will also get a playground to play with the components here on this inside the same so here you can see in the component reference you will get that lightning web components and here you will get the lightning base component whatever all base components that are available but the uh, complete components are not available like EMP API we don't have here you can just uh, find if you wanted to use let's say that uh, you wanted to use data table you can just type data table if that particular thing is available here you will definitely get that here data table you will get you can see the complete thing uh, all the things each and everything is same just and the naming convention the naming convention I can say that uh, how to tie how to write those that has been changed and that's it if you wanted to use map you can just go ahead here type map and you will be able to see that we ha you have map here in lightning web components as well and lightning components as well you can just go ahead and use lightning map so uh, you can just use map markers and then you can go ahead and you can also see marker titles and you will if you scroll down you will also see what are all the you can click on a specification tab and you are whatever all the so footers what are the micro turtles what are the markers you are so and this is the complete this is a developer guide for the web components you can also go through with this for getting the more information about the developer guides and you will also see the references like i can say here are the modules that you can what modules of salesforce that you can implement what are the lightning modules and what are all those modules if you click on here you will see all the ui api record api object information and all that and if you wanted to play around you can just go ahead here in the playground tab and you will be good to go to play with that file you can see here you are already able to see all the things here you can also see here on the compile code it's yep this is the complete uh, code behind that I believe that I haven't gone through with this you can also see that new you can just go ahead and create a new file you can just click on run and it will run and you will be able to see the output here you can also save it and I'm not sure where it will save you can just download the code in your system you can see blank and application it has downloaded the complete files whatever all the files CSS HTML JS and all that so uh, this was the basic uh, introduction about how we can use uh, lightning web components and alt and how to call the uh, javascript files so i hope you have got something new to learn about lightning web components how the attributes works how the proactive properties works and uh, how all these uh, folder structure are useful or, and how we are going to use this component so i'll definitely be recording some more videos on that how to call the apex and all that and we will be doing a complete live project as well so hope to see you uh, i'll see you on the next video thank you guys and thank you for taking the time out for watching the videos thank you